Hi everyone, uh, Wayne McCarthy here. I'm going to take you through the process of uploading uh, your proof of ID and proof of address documents into the web wallet um, website. So we're going to just uh, use my brother's account to do that. First of all, uh, if you've been part of this, you will have obviously set up a, a NetLeaders account, purchased a license, and uh, through that process, um, you will have received a, an email like the one I'm showing you now, which is the um, uh, you know how to establish KY, what what is KYC, and what you need to do, and what documents you need to um, to use to uh, to do that. So before I do that, I'd just like to quickly have a look at um, Mark's account. You'll see here that the this account has been verified. Um, uh, Mark's not a, an advocate as well. He's actually been grandfathered in as an advocate, but he's not promoting as such. You can see that I'm his sponsor. Um, but uh, just wanted to just show you his uh, account settings to confirm that he he has verified. So if you've done that and you've um, got this little green verified uh, note on your cell phone number, then you're good to go. So we're now going to go across to the web wallet uh, for Mark. So I use LastPass for confirming or managing all of my passwords and such. So no, I don't want mine. I want his. So I'll go back down here. Okay, so we're going to log into the web wallet. And you'll see the very first message here is around creating a hot wallet. And of course, to do that, you will need to have a validator. Now, Mark doesn't have one of those yet. Uh, he doesn't need one just yet. In fact, his strategy will be just to hold the, um, the DAS coins that have been minted and in his vault. So I'll just show you that. So his he has a manager's license which is a 500 euro license and over the last six months or so the minting process through the network um, has produced all of his DAS coins so he's just sitting there waiting for the um, the exchange to uh, the public exchange to occur and then he'll make a decision on whether he um, wants to to trade those this is the internal exchange. Um, as you can see here, the last trade was um, at 43 cents. So uh, we're getting sort of, you know, steady kind of growth in the price of Dascoin on the internal exchange. But we're here to verify his account. Up on the right hand corner, you'll see not verify. So all you're doing is clicking on that. And we're going to start this process. So there will be some information here that I will um, pixelate, pixelate out, but uh, you'll get the drift of that. So um, I'll just quickly add this information in. So I'll stop this video, add that in, and come back. Okay, so I've put that information in, so we'll continue there. And we just need to confirm he's from Victoria. Submit that. Takes a few minutes just to get that rolling. So what's happened now is that uh, that application has uh, been moved on to the back office of the web wallet team. Now I believe that's pretty much instantaneous. So let's just go over to his email and okay so there you go there's that that um, uh, 
confirmation and it says here that you need to use a passport or a national ID card or a driver's license. Here in Australia, um, you know, a passport or driver's license is probably what you'll have. Certainly a driver's license if you're over 18. And to verify your address, um, this, these are the, um, the options you have. Um, and again, passport, national ID, driver's license, where there's an address on them, um, a utility bill or a tax bill from the local authority or a credit card statement. So we're just going to go and upload and hit that upload button here. So it's going to take us back into um, the web wallet site. So, right, so we're going to log in again. I'm doing that is I want to use LastPass to grab his credentials. Just log in credentials. So we're back in here. Okay, so again we're getting this um, uh, message around the validator, and again we're not doing that. So we're going. So we've see up in the right hand corner we've got this pending verification so that's where a few people do get lost um, they've kind of got to that process that you know they um, you know click here and they've already kind of got the email so don't need to do that but what you've got to do is come down to settings and expand this and this is where you upload your your um, your document so it's a step that you kind of might miss in the process. So what we're going to do now um, for Mark is upload upload a new document. You select which which um, you're working with. He's provided to me um, his his driver's license um, front and back. So we're just going to go with ID proof. I'm going to go to um, the file where I I've, I've placed it. And that is somewhere in here. A bit of folder for Mark stuff. So bank verification is where I've put it. So we're going to go with the front of his driver's license. And it will give you a picture of, of that image. So we're going to confirm the upload. Okay, so that's uploaded. So we're going to upload the back of that driver's license. And again, we just grab. Now this will look a bit different for diff for every state of Australia, I guess. So that's what we need. And the final document is the proof of address. Now. Uh, I'm going to use um, a. He gave me a rates notice. Now I'm hoping that's going to be sufficient. Um, it has his address and details of, of the property that he owns. So that sort of should be sufficient. So we're now done um, and we're now waiting for. Uh, we'll be waiting for these three documents to be, uh, you know, reviewed by um, the Web Wallet support team. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm hoping that it's uh, helped you along, uh, you know, in getting through this process. I know it's um, there's been a lot of steps in in um, coming out of the Net Leaders, uh, you know, site um, website. And, and opening accounts and getting verified and you know opening a web wallet account and verifying but this is all um, a good thing uh, it, it's uh, it's where the industry in my view is heading um, the KYC process um, uh, steps us aside from the majority of the other cryptocurrencies out there and as you've probably seen with a lot of the the things I'm posting into my Facebook groups and onto my personal wall, uh, 
the cryptocurrencies are becoming um, more popular um, in terms of um, of uh, investment vehicles um, and such. So, and, and governments um, and, and around the world are starting to take notice of this. And there's going to be, and to what level in each jurisdiction, you, we won't be able to predict. But there certainly is going to be some oversight on what's happening in the um, in, in the digital currency space. So. Uh, the owners of Das Coin have, um, you know, I guess had that vision some time ago, and they've built around uh, Das Coin a, a very, um, you know, secure, uh, encrypted, um, you know, KYC um, system, so that uh, there is um, uh, the ability for, for you know you to manage your um, your Dascoin account to, to trade Dascoin securely and so on and and when it when the day does come where governments want um, to you know uh, apply some pressure on to the owners of these businesses that um, you know have you know you know millions and millions of dollars um, inside these uh, uh, these cryptocurrencies that there's some way to uh, facilitate audit and and um, and identity to to uh, to those that have got wallets and so on so um, anyway it's, it's this was more about uploading the um, the the documents to set your account up if you need anything else from me just uh, give me a shout um, I'll uh, be happy to take you through it Anyway, we'll uh, catch you up on uh, a recording in the future.